In this video, you're gonna learn how to create viral hooks using Sora 2, just like this. And I'm also going to show you briefly what mobile first AI workflows are going to look like moving forward. So the release of Sora 2 is the start of a new era where models are being released on mobile first, shifting AI creators from the desktop to mobile. And so just like how with 11 Labs, you can generate the most expressive AI voices straight from your phone, you can now generate hyper-realistic video with Sora 2 because yes, it's an app that you can download from the App Store. And if you don't yet have access, there's going to be a bunch of different access codes sprinkled throughout this video, courtesy of 11 Labs employees. So when you're in the Sora mobile app, to generate some video, all you have to do is click the plus icon at the bottom. And here you can now describe any video that you would like to create, and you can generate up to, I believe, seven or eight seconds of video. And now there's a few things we can do here to customize it. And so at the top, you'll notice that we can choose the orientation. So we've either got portrait or landscape. And so I can go ahead and select portrait. And then here we simply want to describe the video. So I could type out man skydiving in a pink sky. I can then simply click generate and I would get the video. But the power of Sora 2 is that it allows you to create with cameos. And cameos are essentially using someone's likeness to put into the video. So if I was to generate man skydiving in a pink sky, we would get quite a generic video, but let's go ahead and test it. However, now let's go ahead and do the same prompt, except this time I'm going to tag my own cameo and I click send. And now we've got both videos that are generating in the drafts and neither of them will be posted instantly. We need to validate them and approve them before we decide if we want to share them or not on our profile. And while they generate, when you sign up to the app, you are prompted to create your cameo. But if you want to go ahead and change it or edit it, you can simply click edit cameo on your profile and go and click on retake at the bottom. And it's a very simple video where it's asking you to say a few numbers and then do a few head movements. So it can capture your likeness and voice. And now when it comes to creating your cameo, bad lighting is often the most common cause for low quality cameos. You also want to make sure that your background is clean and that you remove any hats or sunglasses that could interfere with your cameo. And then last Lastly, you want to record in a quiet room, so turn off fans and any background noise that could interfere with your recording. And then for the framing and movement, the Sora 2 model can only generate what it has seen of you. So if you don't show a smile, but you ask it to generate one, it's going to invent a smile that won't necessarily look like yours. But I do agree that this is a challenge considering that the video that we submit for Sora 2 is very short. And at this point in time, we can't add longer videos to train a better cameo. When it comes to choosing who can actually create with your cameo, I do want to mention that you can make it entirely private or you can allow everyone or just people that you choose to create with it. And so now once your generations are done, they appear in your draft. And let's take a look and preview the first one right here. And so as you can see, great video looked realistic, but it was quite generic. Now we can look at the one where it was the exact same prompt, but I tagged myself. This is insane, absolutely unreal. You can see forever out here. All right, time to pop it. Yes, canopy up. And so as you can see, it's now got the same environment with my likeness. And here it's actually cycling through a few different scenes. And so based on this, you can quickly understand how to create viral hooks with Sora 2, because you can include yourself into a video with great resemblance and prompt anything you would like to see. And so for an example, this one, I thought was a great intro for this video. It's finally here! Sora 2! And then when you're actually happy with a video, all you have to do is go and tap on it and then you can tap the three dots and simply download it to your phone. And this is where you can start to imagine the shift and what AI workflows are going to look like when they are mobile first. And so for example, we could use ChatGPT to create our entire storyboard with the prompts we need. We could then generate those images as I've done down below in ChatGPT, save the images. We could then go into Sora, add them as reference images, paste the video prompt that we got from ChatGPT right here, tag the cameo that we want to appear in the story, and then click generate. And then you get something that looks just like this. So searching and finally, there it is. A ring, broken, enormous, half buried under the dunes. Looks like it's been here for centuries. Cold metal under all this sand. And so as you can see, we've got this really cool looking video scene with my likeness. I mean, this looks a lot like me. However, it doesn't quite sound like me and it's not the exact voiceover I want. And I might not even want to use 
all of it. And so I would download that and then I could go and stitch all of the videos together in CapCut and cut out the parts that I want and then use Eleven Labs to create the voiceover. And in Eleven Labs, I've actually got my professional voice clone so I can make sure that I get a really accurate voiceover that sounds just like me. And so that is what a mobile first AI workflow could look like using Sora 2, Eleven Labs, CapCut and ChatGPT. And as you can see, you can go a lot further than just creating viral hooks with Sora 2. And I think we're going to see more and more of this shift from people creating AI content on web to mobile, just like we saw content creators move from web to mobile. And for those of you that made it this far and don't yet have access to Sora 2, here's a few more codes for you to get access to Sora 2 on your phone. And if you want to learn more about AI and implement it into your content creation workflows, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.